So in family is a, a, a huge start. Um, for me, particularly my mother's background and, and her parents. So my, my grandparents were slave labourers in Siberia uh, during the Second World War. Um, they didn't have to work if it was too cold. If it was below minus 40, they're allowed not to go out and cut trees down. Um, my mother was born in a refugee camp in Uzbekistan. Um, I grew up here in Cambridge. And I've always known that it's essentially just fortune that I had Cambridge and mum had Uzbekistan. Uh, it's one reason I've always been sympathetic to people about refugees. I can imagine that a refugee is somebody a bit like me, because it is somebody a bit like me. And I think that has, has shaped my values a lot. Um, so you talked about growing up on, under Labour and, and the problems. Now, I grew up under Thatcher, and I knew I was on the other side. Um, and I then, I was disappointed with 92, and I then later realised that there was a different axis. It wasn't just the left-right, the two-party system. There was also a liberal axis that was about people, about empowering people, about helping communities to do things. And that's when I realised that I, I was a liberal. I was happy with the idea that people wanted to do different things. And that was great. <coughs> How do you help people to be who they can be? Um, and that's, there's a lovely line at the beginning of the Lib Dem Constitution, where the only part of which starts off with this, um, or anything like it. Um, the Liberal Democrats exist to build and safeguard a free, fair and open society in which no one is enslaved by poverty, ignorance or conformity. And for me that rings quite powerfully, that that idea that poverty enslaves you. It's not just the money, it's the lack of educational outcomes, the lack of opportunities, the lack of health. It's all of those things around it as well as the money. No, I don't think you can be enslaved by ignorance or enslaved by conformity. I find really, really powerful. Um, so that, that speaks a lot to me. Um, more technically, for any of you who are philosophers, I'm a, I'm a Rawlsian liberal. So Rawls had this idea, you can work out a fair society. Before we all come into the world, before we know who we are, we would all gather together and try to work out what fair rules would be. So you wouldn't know if you're going to be male, female, black, white, rich, poor, refugee, not refugee. You'd have no idea who you were. You'd just try and work out what would be a fair system. Um, and to me, that would give you a much more egalitarian, a much more liberal society. Because you wouldn't want to have mass poverty around the world. You wouldn't want to have human rights abuses, because it could be you. You would want us to look after refugees fleeing Syria, because it could be you. Um, so that to me is quite, quite powerful.